former President Pranab Mukherjee's daughter, Sharmishta Mukherjee, which it goes by the name Pranab, my father or daughter remembers, is at the center of a political controversy because the book has revealed ex-president's thoughts over Rahul Gandhi. The book is based upon diary entries of the former president and a lifetime congressman making scathing attacks on Rahul Gandhi and Sonia Gandhi. Excerpts from the book talk about Rahul Gandhi and his immaturity when it comes to political understanding. In fact, it also says that Pranab Mukherjee thought uh, of Rahul Gandhi as someone full of questions, but he lacked charisma, which was creating a problem. He also expressed doubts over Rahul Gandhi's ability to revive the Congress party. In fact, the book mentions that the uh, ex-president Mukherjee, it, for him, it's only Narendra Modi as PM after Indira Gandhi, who has the ability to feel the pulse of people accurately. So a big controversy, a lot of political commentary as well, uh, naturally speaking, coming in uh, on this latest revelation by Sharmishta Mukherjee in this book. We have Pranesh joining us with more details. So Sharmishta Pranesh talks about how Pranam Mukherjee in person never spoke about the Gandhis in any ill fashion. Uh, she says his diary had a different story to tell. Take up two more. You know, this uh, promises to be a fascinating uh, read from the looks of it, uh, although the book is yet to release, but excerpts have come out, which is why you have this political controversy raging. Who is Sarmishta Mukherjee? Sarmishta Mukherjee's daughter of Prana Mukherjee, a Congress veteran, someone who is considered a loyalist of the Gandhi family and uh, also former president of India. Now let's look at the excerpts. We have several, but uh, let me break it down bit by bit. This is one page in which uh, it is written that uh, there are a few references in his diaries of Rahul visiting him at his residence. Pranab describes him as very courteous and full of questions, which he took as a sign of Rahul's desire to learn. But he felt that Rahul was yet to mature politically. Rahul's continued, Rahul continued to meet Pranab at Rashtrapati Bhavan, though not very frequently. Pranab advised him to join the cabinet and gain some first-hand experience in governance. Rahul obviously did not heed this advice, as we all know. During one of these visits on uh, 25th March 2013, Pranab noted, and here's the quote, he has interest in diverse range of subjects but moves on quickly from one subject to another. I don't know how much he listened and absorbed. On 15th July, another instance, uh, Kritzwin, on 15th July 2013, Rahul came for lunch. As per Pranab's diary, Rahul spelt out in detail his plans for revamping the organization. Though Pranab did not write anything about those plans, he was appreciative and noted that Rahul appeared confident of meeting the challenge. But had Pranab known that what Rahul was about to do two months later, perhaps uh, Rahul himself didn't know it then, he would have very strongly advised Rahul against it. Let's go to the next page. He says that he wrote in his, uh, she says that he wrote in his diary, Rahul Gandhi gate crashed a press conference by Ajay Markan and described the decision of the cabinet as nonsense. Well known fact, this is totally uncalled for. He has all the arrogance of his Gandhi Nehru lineage without their political acumen. Let me read it again, Kritzwin. Prana Mukherjee in his diary noted that uh, Rahul's act of gate crashing Ajay Markan, who was a minister then, his press conference and uh, uttering the word nonsense about the ordinance, Pranab said that this reflected Rahul's arrogance, arrogance of his Gandhi Nehru lineage without their political acumen. Okay, very interesting. Now, let's also remind our viewers that this is uh, 2004, if I'm not wrong. He's talking about that particular period when, uh, you know, as the president of the single largest party, Congress to win the Lok Sabha elections in 2004. Sonia Gandhi was tipped to be the Prime Minister, had full support of the coalition partners, but she decided to step down, uh, or rather step out of the race. It's then that Manmohan Singh had taken over as the Prime Minister. This is the period that is being spoken of by Pranab Mukherjee. As per his daughter uh, of the excerpts that we've managed to access, this says uh, the personality cult around the Nehru Gandhi family and Rahul Gandhi's lack of charisma and political understanding, among other things. Those are the kind of, uh, you know, words that we've picked up from this particular book, uh, it is quite big in itself. The contents of the book have most certainly given ammunition to the BJP, which has once again launched a scathing attack at the Congress party. We also have Shehzad Poonawala joining us on the phone line. Shehzad, what do you make of 
uh, you know all the excerpts that are now out in the open because the BJP most certainly not going to let go of the kind of words that have uh, come in from Pranab Mukherjee as have been revealed by her daughter. Uh, well, you know, this is not the only person or only, uh, you know, entity that has made these comments on Rahul Gandhi's political immaturity. The fact of the matter is that whether it's Barack Obama or whether it's many other leaders, they've spoken of the fact that Rahul Gandhi has been extremely politically immature. And uh, I think that is the reason why Rahul Gandhi is in the situation where he is today. He continues to pursue the politics of negativity, the politics of trying to divide and rule, and uh, is unable to even take the advice of senior leaders within his own party. And therefore, many senior leaders in his own party have been forced to leave, including one leader like me, also had to leave, because Rahul Gandhi does not listen to good advice. And Rahul Gandhi only believes in putting his own self and his own family interest above party interest. Okay. It was in 2004, as per Sharmishta Mukherjee, Shahzad, that uh, Pranab Mukherjee had opined that Rahul Gandhi is yet to mature politically. So, you know, from 2004, we've reached 2023. Okay. Seem to have lost that line now with Shahzad. But that's the BJP's opinion. The BJP has been saying that this is what we have tried to convey to the entire nation for the longest time. It clearly shows mirror once again to the Gandhi family, says the BJP. Listen in. देखिए मैंने ना वो टिप्पणी सुनी है ना मैंने किताब पढ़ी है इसलिए उस पर कुछ भी कहना मेरे लिए उचित नहीं होगा आप उनको ना समझ कहें या समझदार होकर भी देश के टुकड़े करने की सोच रखने वाले या सनातन धर्म हिंदुओं को अपमान करने वाला एक ऐसा नेता अब ये कांग्रेस जाने कांग्रेस के नेता जाने लेकिन देश बहुत अच्छी तरह जान गया है लोग आज केवल एक सोच लेकर चले देश के टुकड़े टुकड़े कर दो सनातन धर्म को नीचा दिखा दो हिंदू और हिंदुओं को अपमानित कर दो आज क्या मैच्योर हो गए हो क्या आज भी तो वही है वो कुल मिलाकर देखिए ये सोने की चम्मच लेकर पैदा होने वाले राजा के घर में राज्य इसी काट वाट से रहने वाले लोग और ये देश में सेवा की राजनीति इनके बस की बात नहीं जब देश के लोग और बीजेपी बोलती थी कि राहुल गांधी जी एरोगेंट हैं और ना समझ हैं बचकाना है बच्चे हैं अभी वो तो गांधी परिवार इसको बुरा मानता था कि हमारे बेटे के प्रति बुरा बोलते हैं सोनिया जी बुरा मानते थे लेकिन अब तो उनके सीनियर लीडर रहे जिनको उन्होंने राष्ट्रपति भी बनाया प्रणब मुखर्जी ने अपनी किताब में माना है अपनी डायरीज में कि एक एरोगेंट है इसके अंदर एरोगेंसी जो गांधी परिवार और नेहरू परिवार की लेग्निस से जो एरोगेंस चकड़ थी वही इसके अंदर थी और यह भी कहा कि यह बच्चा था और यह भी मानना कि ना समझ था तो देश के आगे आज सामने हैं कि ये बच्चे जिसकी अभी मानसिकता बड़ी नहीं हुई जिनका दिमाग अभी भी छोटा है वो प्रधानमंत्री बनने के सपने देखते हैं इसलिए क्योंकि उनको लगता है मैं गांधी लेगेसी से हूं 